Hello everyone, this is Ilya from MySessionX.tv. Today uh, I wanted to show you how to retrieve your password from um, any Windows machine. Uh, doesn't matter which version it is, you'll be able to uh, retrieve the password from that machine. If you forget the password for any reason, you can uh, still be able, you'll be able to uh, retrieve that password or reset the password for anything that you want. Uh, but before I start that though, I want to just do a uh, quick disclaimer, right? So use this information for uh, as educational purpose and, and, and for your own um, benefit. If you forget your password, you can, you, can, you can reset and get it back. Don't use this inform don't misuse this information. Um, this is just for educational purpose, so I want to get that out of the way so you don't misuse this information. Because literally, it's a it's a splite um, that you can get uh, access to any Windows machine. As long as you you have physical access to the machine, you'll be able to log into them. So uh, let's get started. So I'm using a virtual machine, um, Windows 10, 64-bit, and that's how we're gonna be. Um, I'm gonna be using this to do the password reset. So let me power off this machine here for now and we're gonna go from there um, so there is a couple things the basically this exploit is by design um, for um, all the users that have um, um, this ability you'll be able to hit some keys and then you get some more information uh, to, to, to help you uh, help the user so we're gonna use that feature that uh, uh, on, on any Windows operation system that displays that information, you'll be able to um, uh, retrieve the password or reset the password that way. So let's wait for this machine to, to boot and then we will continue from that point on. Okay, the machine is right here. Um, so let's go ahead and do this. Let me... So you need to know the username. That's one of the requirements. And uh, I believe is pass Word password one. I just set this uh, password as a password one. Yes, it is password one. So this is the Windows that we're gonna be uh, changing the password. So the exploit that we're gonna be using uh, it's called um, uh, first boot. Uh, uh, actually, Windows, Windows is sticky key uh, feature, right? So that's what we're going to be using. So technically, if you on any Windows machine, if you hit the Shift key five times, one, two, three, four, five, you get this uh, note over here, right? This is the sticky key, right? So do you want to turn on the sticky key and, right? You can press Control or Shift, Control or Alt on the Windows um, Windows logo key. By pressing this key, uh, the keyboard shortcut will turn on the sticky key. So, right. So what? Right now, I'm going to close this. I'm not going to do anything. I just wanted to show you this. Uh, that's so. That's what we're going to be doing. So in order to get access to that, so we need to do a couple things. You need to have a bootable disk of Windows in like a bootable CD or bootable uh, USB drive um, that you can plug it into the computer. And while the computer is booting, you hit the uh, F2 or F12 or delete key, depend on your, uh, on your computer or your machine to get access to the BIOS uh, boot up. Uh, so you can select to boot from the disk or to boot from the USB drive. And once you do that, you the, the, the bootable disk is going to start loading the Windows. You're going to see a message that say, hit any key to, to boot from CD. Then you press the key and then you boot from the CD. So I'm going to uh, be uh, showing you all of this. So let's go ahead and start this machine. And um, we're going to go and do this right now. So let me power off. I'm going to shut down this machine. Okay, the, the, the computer is off. 
So what I'm gonna do here, so on the on the CD, before you do that, you need to put the, the bootable CD in there. Uh, in my case, um, since I'm using a virtual machine, this is VMware. Um, you, I'm just pointing here to the location where the Windows uh, 10 uh, bootable CD is. It's an ISO image. So basically, this is a virtual CD. Also, uh, we're gonna it, it's gonna work the same way as a, a, a actual CD. I'm using the virtual CD because it's easy for me to demo you to show you what's what's gonna happen uh, during the, this process. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna power on this machine and I'm gonna hit F2 key. Uh, that's what the bootable uh, disk image for uh, for the VMware. So I'm gonna hit power key. Uh, and I'm gonna hit F2 keys a couple of times. So I got the boot, the, the boot manager. Um, so for your machine, it could be F2, it could be F10, um, F12, uh, the leak key. You need to figure out uh, of, uh, what, what the key is for, for your device. But in my case, it's F2. So I'm just going to go ahead and boot from the CD ROM, see? Once I hit enter, it say press any key to boot from the CD, so I press a key. So now I'm loading the, the, the I'm going to boot in Windows using that CD. So let's wait for that to boot. All right, so the machine is up so let's go ahead and click next like, like you're gonna go install <clears throat> this is with windows 10 so here on this window instead of me clicking install you're just gonna click repair your computer and this window is gonna load you got a couple options over here <clears throat> so what i wanted to do uh, you're gonna want to click on troubleshoot in this case um, once you click troubleshoot you get another menu over here on this menu, you wanted the command prompt. So that's how we're gonna exploit that um, vulnerability. So I'm, on, I'm running uh, the, this command prompt as administrator, right? And, and the, the user that's running this is, is from the, the, the system user and it has the, the Audi administrator privilege to do anything you wanna do on that machine. Uh, so that's uh, how we're gonna be able to go and change the password. So what I'm going to do here, I'm going to go ahead and press, actually I'm going to type C column, I'm change it to my C drive, and as you can see, I can do a DIR, this is all my, uh, my C drive over here, and that's my Windows, and we need to go to CD Windows, so if you hit, uh, start type WI and hit tab, you'll be able to auto type for you, and so now we are in the Windows, so if I do a DIR in it, you're going to be able to see that this is the Windows directory. Uh, I have We have System32, and that's what we wanted to go next. We want to go to System32, and we have all the other um, folders on that. So let's go ahead and do a CD space. Uh, I'm going to type System32, and that's... So we are in the System32. In here, we're going to do a dir star dot exe because we need to look uh, for a file to make sure the file exists on this machine so let's do a search and the file that we want is sethc.exe so let's find that file here really quick uh, sethc.exe where is the file it's right here somewhere right here this is the file that we're looking for set hc.exe so i select and i hit enter what that does it caps that file so what we're going to do here we're going to run two commands in here we're going to do copy i'm going to right click to paste set tc or set hc.exe to um i'm going to copy paste it again but instead of doing this i'm going to do a bkp or you can do anything else in there. You can do your initials, you can do a 000, anything you wanna do there. I'm just gonna use BKP as, for, as, as a short for backup. So what it does in there, I'm doing, I'm gonna, I'm renaming that file to something else so I don't lose that file because we're gonna overwrite that file. So as you can see, one file is being copied. Now the next command you're gonna do is gonna be copy
cmd.exe to set hc.exe. So basically we are copying this the cmd command, uh, command prompt to rename the file with the set here hc.exe. Okay, so once I hit enter, it's gonna say the file already exists. You wanna overwrite, just click yes or Y and hit enter. One file copy. So now that's the set hc.exe is not a the, the the actual file that we that needs to be for the um for the hotkey in there. Uh, it's going to that file is actually a command prompt, it's DOS command prompt. So that's how we're gonna um, ex be able to exploit this and change the passwords. Once we boot the Windows, we're gonna run some commands and then uh, update the password. So let's go ahead and do this right now. Um, exit, just type exit so you exit over here, or you can just power off your machine. In my case, I'm gonna power it off. All right, the machine is off. As you can see, uh, the machine is done right now. Now we can boot it normally. So let's start up the machine. So Windows is starting. I'm gonna pause right now and I'll be back once the once I get the logon prompt. Okay, so I got the logon prompt over here. So all I'm gonna do is this is where we're gonna uh, log in. So that's the name of the user, test user. Shift key five times. One, two, three, four, and five. And as you can see here, I got the logon prompt. So this is running as the system account, uh, system administrator, and you can do anything you wanna do on this machine right now. So we're gonna run a couple commands over here. And to start, um, we if you just want to change the password, you're just going to type net space user and test user is the user ID. And then you go ahead and type password. So let's call, I'm going to say, let me in one, two, three. So that's gonna be the password. Let me in one, two, three. Well, as soon as I hit, see the command completely successfully. So now the password for the user is not password in one anymore. It's let me in one, two, three. Now, if you wanna add a new user, so if you don't remember the user ID, you wanna add a new user, you can just do net user. And you can uh, type the user the username, the password, and then you do a slash um, add. So let me try here, um, test user two. And for the password for that one, I'm gonna say password one. And then you do a slash add. So what I, what I, what's gonna happen here, we're going to create see command executed successfully. So we create that user test user two with the password one as the password. Now we need to add the user to the local to the local administrator group. So the next command you're going to type is net space local group space administrators space now you put the user uh, that you want to put it in there in your case is test user 2 and you do a far slash add and as you can see once you hit the enter you're going to say command execu 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 executed successfully so now we are at the now we can go ahead and log in so this is test user so if I want to log in as a different user, I can just, um, can I cancel this? No, 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 let's, let's just do this. I'm going to do a uh, let me in one, two, three. That was the password that we changed. 
and I'm logging in with that password. As you can see, I'm in with the with the new password that I just changed. Now, if I want to change my user, I can just go over here. See, my test user two is right there. So before I do that, so let's just see. Take a quick look on that user before I log in with that user. Uh, I'm gonna go here, manage. I'm just gonna check the user to see if the user is on the local administrator group. Because we did also add the user in there. So if I go to local users in groups, go to groups, and we have administrators. If I double click on that, that's the test user two is right there. So we have test user, test user two. So we just added that to the local administrator. That works well. So that's it. Uh, that's how you, you can recover your Windows password. So I'm gonna log off now. I'm gonna actually not log off. I'm just gonna log in as test user two. So just to show you that the user has been created and we can log in. And I use password one for this user and I am logging in. Since this is the first time that I'm logging in for the user, a couple of things are gonna happen here. Windows is gonna set up your profiles to make sure um, you, because it's the first time you log in, you're gonna create that profile for you. Let me pause this when it's done, I'll come back and then we'll finish the, the video. Okay, uh, the user finished logged in and I'm here uh, on this user. So let's go ahead and check to make sure everything is fine. Yeah, brand new profile, nothing here. Let me open Explorer. I'm gonna pin this user over here, pin to taskbar. Okay, so now uh, I'm gonna manage. Right click on, on this computer and say manage. I'm gonna go to local users and groups and users. We have test user group in there and the groups of the administrator. And as you can see, I'm still there. And I'm logging fine. I can do anything that I wanna do here. Um, if I wanna go and create a new folder, delete a folder, right? This is my C drive, um, this is my Windows. So let's go into this Windows System 32. I just wanna show you really quick before I finish that uh, that file, it's still there as a backup. So let's go and look for set. Close my file. See, set sh. Uh, let me just change it, make a quick change over here. View, options, change, the view. Right now it says hide extension for known files. I don't want to, I want to see that. All right, so now I see. See, this is the set hc.exe that we renamed the command the DOS prompt to uh, cmd.exe to that file. So then again, if you type uh, shift five time, one, two, three, four, five, you get the, I'll get the prompt in there because I, it, it's also really affect my host machine, not only just the VM. So you got the command prompt over here. So this is, this is it for now. And I hope you enjoy. And please give a thumbs up, subscribe. And um, I'll see you in the next video. Talk to you later.